Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be looking at today are exponents. We're going to look at the power rules. We're going to look at the concept and an example. So here's the product power rule. Looks like this. Whenever you have a times b, side parentheses, being raised to the power, almost like the distributive property, you're going to multiply each term, or not multiply, raise that term to that power. So a raised to the n and b raised to the n. And that removes the parentheses. Same thing with a quotient, when it's a fraction. When that's being raised to the n, you're to remove the parentheses, you're going to raise a to the nth power and b to the nth power. Everything that's inside you're going to raise to that power. So let's look at an example. So here we have negative uh, 30 a raised to the 14th power b to the 9th over 10 a to the 8th b to the negative second power. All of that being cubed or raised to the third power. Now you could cube everything first, but negative 30 cubed is kind of big, somewhat big, not that much, but somewhat big. So if you can simplify first, that's what I would recommend. Negative 30 over 10 is negative 3. Uh, these uh, you apply the quotient rule. Uh, with the same base, so that's a to the 14th over a to the 8th, subtract those, that's 4, 14 minus 8, which is 6. You're going to do the same thing with the b's, uh, that's b to the 9th over b to the negative 2, but be careful of your signs, because you're going to do 9 minus negative 2, which is 11. That's more manageable. Let's raise each of those to the third power. So negative 3 to the third power would be negative 27. A raised to this power would be A raised to the 18. 6 times 3 is 18. 11 times 3 is 33. So that would be B raised to the 33rd power. And that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, you can email me at jdmathguy at gmail.com. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.